Uh, with that, I'd be happy to take your questions today. Where would you like to start, Mr. Josh? Sure. Let's start with Pakistan. Okay. So everyone is very confused about what exactly you guys are doing on aid to Pakistan. Are we cutting all of it off? Is it just security assistance? Is it just the $255 million in foreign military uh, sales that was already announced? Uh, or are you doing something new? Okay. Uh, as you recall, uh, a few months ago, we announced the suspension of $255 million in the foreign uh, military assistance. It's basically the money that we would provide to Pakistan. Pakistan then, in return, uh, uses that money to buy equipment, military equipment from the United States. That was all suspended. That was announced back in August. Today, we can confirm that we are suspending national security, or ex excuse me, uh, we are suspending security assistance security assistance only to Pakistan at this time. Until the Pakistani government takes decisive action against groups, including the Afghan Taliban and the Haqqani Network, we consider them to be destabilizing the region and also targeting U.S. personnel, the United States will suspend that kind of security assistance to Pakistan. What's the dollar figure on the amount of security assistance? So we are still working through some of those dollar numbers right now. As soon as I have a number for you, I can certainly get that to you. I have some more information that I, I can provide. Given that you're suspending that aid, but you're not, you're not reprogramming it to something else, Pakistan could still end up getting all of this money, assuming they meet your criteria. So, is that right? Okay. L let me provide you with some more information, and I'll take I'll take uh, some of your additional questions on this because I know you have a lot of interest in this. Uh, the president announced his South Asia's policy in August of 2017. You all remember that. He made it clear that no partnership can survive a country's harboring of militants and terrorists who target U.S. service members and officials. It has been more than four months since the president's speech, and despite a sustained high-level engagement by this administration with the government of Pakistan, the Taliban, and the Haqqani Network continue to find sanctuary inside Pakistan as they plot to destabilize Afghanistan and also attack U.S. and allied personnel. Pakistan has greatly suffered from terrorism, and the security services have been effective in combating the groups that target Pakistani interests such as al-Qaeda, ISIS, and the Pakistani Taliban. We have now worked closely with Pakistan against these groups. Now, just as we have made Pakistan's enemies our own, we need Pakistan to deny safe haven to or lawfully detain those terrorists and militants who threaten U.S. interests. The United States stands ready to work with Pakistan in combating all terrorists without distinction, and we hope to be able to renew and deepen our bilateral security relationship when Pakistan demonstrates its willingness to aggressively confront the Afghan Taliban, the, ha the Haqqani Network, and other terrorist and militant groups that operate from within its country. So. We will not be delivering military equipment or transfer security-related funds to Pakistan unless it is required by law. I think that part answers your questions. There may be some exemptions that are made on a case-by-case -case basis if they're determined to be critical to national security interests. Can you give any 